This morning, a shave with something new but quite familiar? Stay tuned. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with our video. Well, this morning I'm going to have a shave with a brand new blade, but it's a very familiar brand you've all seen me use before. You've seen me use these guys right here, Persona Blues. These are terrific, terrific razors. Used them early on in my wet shaving adventure when I came back to the traditional wet shave, and they did an absolutely wonderful job. Well, they also have these Persona Blues. What's the difference between these and these? Well, these right here are known as Persona Blues or Persona Lab Blues specifically. These are made in the United States of America. These are known as IPs, Israeli Personas. Persona Blues made in Israel. And these have an absolutely wonderful reputation for giving great smooth shades. When wet shavers compare the two of these, there's always an ongoing friendly debate of which one gives you a better shave. Some guys prefer these, some guys prefer these. Uh, they also make Israeli reds or Persona reds that are a red branded, red wrapped blade also made in Israel, Persona reds. And I uh, don't have any of those. We're going to use these. Looking forward to the shave. What's the difference between the two when it comes to wrappers? Well, uh, the Lab Blues come in a plain white wrapper like this. And I'll show you the inside of the blade too. There's a nice little bit of... And it's got that kind of branding on it there. Okay. The Persona Israeli Blues, right here, they come with this kind of wrapper here. And opening them up, we've got this kind of branding labeling right there on the blade. So we're going to use this blade this morning for my shave. Really looking forward to it. Uh, for my razor, I'm going to be using my Edwin Jagger ebony handled, short handled Edwin Jagger razor, an ebony handle. It's a lot shorter than the DE89 that you see here. Let me just get a better grasp of it there. There you go. The DE89 right here, and this is the ebony handled razor. Both Edwin Jagger, both great Edwin Jagger razor heads. Uh, I prefer the uh, the uh, ebony handled or short handled Edwin Jagger razors. For some reason, I think they give me a little more efficiency in my shape. They both give me great shapes, just that sometimes for some reason, I think these give me just a little more efficiency. I like them a lot. We're also going to use some uh, Soap Commander Courage shaving soap. I got some hot water sitting on top of that. I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Fire Mare shaving brush, synthetic shaving brush. Feels like a real badger brush. Love this brush. It's soaking in the sink right now. Um, I'm going to finish it off with an Osma Allen Block, some Pinot Clubman, and for upstairs, some Avon Wild Country aftershave balm. All right, so uh, let's wet the face and let's get to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Israeli blue compares to the USA Persona Lab blue. So let's wet the face. Okay. Wow, that just lathers, <laughs> lathers so fast. That's amazing. That really is nice. All right, let's get my razor. Okay. Alignment and balance are spot on with this. <laughs> terrific, absolutely terrific. Edwin Jagger makes a very, very good razor. Their quality control is very, very good. All of my Edwin Jagger razors, 
turn this off so I can talk to you. All my Edwin Jagger razors, all the razor heads are always spot on with their blade balance and blade alignment. Really bravo to them. Really very, very nice. All right, let's heat this up now. All righty. Get some hot water underneath there. Swirl in the sink. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Uh, that's a nice, <laughs> that's, a, that's a wonderful blade. That is a nice, mild, sharp blade. It's on the mild side. But boy, is that efficient. Boy, is that nice. Very, very smooth. Wow, wow, very, really, really nice. Wow. And the Courage Soap is giving me a lot of nice glide and protection. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Well, that was a nice first pass. You take your beard down in stages, that's for sure. Very nice first pass, very comfortable. A lot of nice glide, very, very smooth. Love this brush. Great for travel, great for home, daily driver. Nice size, good weight. And it just, it is a really nice soft brush. And I don't know if I've mentioned this to you. I probably have mentioned it to you before. But when I first used this, I thought it was a real badger brush. Most synthetics, you can tell, are kind of synthetic brushes. With this brush, I thought it was a real badger brush. I had to look at the packaging and the product page to make sure that it was a synthetic brush because it felt like a real badger brush. Really very, very nice. All right, here we go with pass number two. We're gonna go east to west across the grade. Have a little bit of a blemish there, passes right over it, doesn't hack it open, which is nice. All right, second pass done, let's rinse. Wow, that's nice. That's really, really nice. I can go to the office right now if I want to. I would say, I would say my shave is done. That is, that is really, really nice. If I wanted to get a little closer, probably do some touch-ups, that sort of thing. Uh, let me do a third pass. It's done. But I want to do a quick third pass just to see. 
if I can get a little closer with this blade, it's a wonderfully mild, sharp blade. It's, it's a great blade. It really, really is. Got a third, I'm going to do a third pass just to kind of gauge how much closer I can get with this. And also because I like doing a third pass. And uh, this is nice with this razor. So we're going to go, <laughs> we are going south and north against the grain. So excited to start this third pass. I just jumped in without telling you. Yeah, that means I'm really excited about this blade. <laughs> really nice and smooth and and close. Boy, that's terrific. Plus, I want to make sure I get everything on my chin. And I did get that a little closer. Third pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, that's nice. Very nice. A lot of slickness on my face from the Courage Shave Soap. Soap Commander. Boy, love that stuff. Love that soap. Love it. Love, love, love it. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm gonna move, I'm gonna do my two final rinses now. Uh, one more, one cold. I'm gonna get this extra slickness off the face because there's a lot of slickness. There, good choice this morning though. Really good choice. Great scent, good cushion, nice slickness. Uh, really, I like it a lot. Okay, so here's my warm water rinse. Boy, that's terrific. That is a nice shave. Wow. <laughs> that is a beautiful three pass shave. Really, really very, very nice. Okay, we're gonna go to my uh, cold water rinse and it did take me a lot of rinsing to get that slickness off with the uh, warm water rinse step so now that I have all that slickness off I'm going to do my cold water rinse close my pores here's my cold water rinse wow that's wonderful that that's terrific oh man I got a clean, I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh boy! Boy, that's a smooth shave. Boy, that was terrific. Very, very nice. Boy, that's great. Let's get my Osma Allen block here. We get under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. Smooth as ice. Boy, that's nice. That is really, really, really nice. Boy, that's a, that's, that's a nice, smooth, close shave. Wow. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's terrific. That really is. I can't tell you how, it just, it just feels so good. Really does. Really, really does. Okay, we're going to put this, dry it off, obviously. Put it in a nice dish. Let it air dry overnight and let that set up with Allen blocks. After you use them, you might want to wait 20, and 30 sec 20 to 30 seconds and then rinse it off, or you can just leave it on. I'm a leave it on guy for most of the part. Sometimes, eh, rare occasions, I will rinse it off. But for the most part, I like to just let it sit on my face here for about, but for the most part, I just let it um, stay there, let it set up and uh, let it do its thing and then go right to my aftershave splash. Uh, so 
Well, it's probably been about 30 seconds, so let's just go ahead and do that and get some Pinot aftershave right here. This is just a classic, classic scent. Clubman Pinot, boy, this is terrific stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and put some on here like this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Boy, that's terrific. What a great sense. Great scent. Uh, Wild Country by Avon. Little bit for upstairs. Little bit. That much right there. Little bit. Has a similar scent to the uh, Clubman, the Pinot, Clubman Pinot. I know, I use it interchangeably. Pinot Clubman, Pinot Clubman Pinot, and then I get it backwards sometimes. Okay. Oh, wow. Great shave. Wow. These blades are wonderful. I uh, love these a lot. You know what? I like these blades, but I think these, for me, are a little bit better. Now, I use the Edwin Jagger razor because I know a lot of you, a lot of viewers out there, a lot of wet shavers out there, have at least one Edwin Jagger razor in their collection. So I'll pop it into an Edwin Jagger and watch. Just feel what a nice, smooth, mild, yet very efficient shave you get with these blades. Absolutely terrific. Love these a lot. You know what? I like these, but these are a little smoother for me. They really are. If you go up to Amazon and you can, you look at the ratings, they're very, very close. The ratings are very, very close in the middle 60s there. And uh, it's kind of like a horse race. I know they're probably going to, you know, one's going to take the lead for a while and the other one's going to get ahead as more people review them. Uh, but they're about neck and neck. But for me, these are really, really smooth. These are really, really, very, very nice, smooth blade. Uh, just got a really nice, smooth shave. No irritation, no nicks, no cuts. Nice and smooth. Just terrific. Three passes, two passes, I was done. Three passes really made the shave sing. Uh, yeah, going to use these and a lot of other razors in the near future here and see how they perform and I uh, I'm I'm expecting great performance from these so I'll have a link below for these you've got to try these these are persona blues or IPs Israeli persona made in Israel there's also the reds the uh, persona reds which are also made in Israel I believe at the same factory I believe those are a little sharper uh, a little more aggressive, but uh, if you want to start with something that is smooth and efficient, and I would say a little bit on the mild side, yet very sharp, just a lot of nice glide, uh, check these out. Uh, Persona Blues from Israel, or the IPs. These are really terrific. All right, hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Are you using these? Are you using these? <laughs> are you using them both? Really interested in knowing. Are you using the uh, Persona Reds? Uh, let me know. Uh, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page where you'll find... All the products that I review on this channel on that page, organized and categorized, so you can find them very, very easily. That's at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark So thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.